played against Clemson, you'll have to be even better against Alabama. From a defensive standpoint, I'm sure there's a number of things that stands out when you watch them, but what are maybe the one or two things that stand out the most from the Crimson Tide offense? Yeah, um, unbelievable team, unbelievable players. They got talent all over the place. Um, big physical offensive line, playmakers on the perimeter. Um, Coach Day said, um, you know, we, we're going to have to play our best game. You know, no, we're going to have to play our best game this week. We're going to have to find uh, another level for sure. Next, we'll hear from Bill Rabinowitz. Bill? Hi, Tuff. I want to ask you about Justin Hilliard. Um, <laughs> you guys have both overcome a lot, and, and he's overcome even more than you have. Can you just kind of speak to his journey and, and what it means to everybody on the team to see him succeed the way he has, and just how well is he playing right now? Yeah. Um, no, he's a guy that's pretty much seen it all, um, the good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, He's seen it all. He's, uh, you know, fought through so much um, on and off the field, um, and and to see the success that he's having, um, you know, it's awesome. You know, he, um, yeah, Justin, he's an unbelievable player, but he's an unbelievable person as well. Um, and again, just as to see the success that he's having, um, one, nobody's surprised. Um, because of how hard he works and, and, and two, um, he just, he does, deserves everything that comes his way because, you know, he's, he's a warrior, uh, always has been. And, uh, you know, he's, he's getting everything he deserves. Sorry. Thank you. Our next will be Dennis Dodd. Dennis. Um, hey, tough. Thanks for doing this. Um, uh, Coach Day just, described how basically how Justin's leadership skills have developed, how he won over the team. Um, you know, I, I, I wonder if you would talk about that, uh, just maybe starting with the Michigan game where he came back from that hit and I think hit Garrett Wilson for a big gain or a touchdown and, and just playing with the ribs on uh, this week. Uh, what kind of leader is he? Yeah, um, you know, he's a guy that's come in, you know, since day one, he's been here. He's he's done um, everything that you know the coaches have asked of him. Really um, built that that trust and that respect of everyone in the program. Um, and and you can go, you know, every week. Um, you know, he's always battling something. Um, and you guys saw it. You know, is you know one of the gutsiest performances. Uh, you know, from a player that I can. Remember my time here. Um, so you can't say good, enough good things about about Justin and, and what he's doing and what and what he means to this program. Next up, we'll have Bill Landis. Bill. Hey, tough. Um, you, uh, if I'm not wrong on this, I think you committed to Ohio State uh, a few months after they won the the national title against Oregon. Um, and I'm wondering what that run meant to you and maybe what specifically seeing Ohio State beat Alabama in the Sugar Bowl that year did to, I don't know, alter your perception of, of Ohio State's program at all? Um, I mean, I sure it was it was cool to see uh, them have the success that they did have that year. But I mean, that wasn't that wasn't a deal breaker for me, whether or not they were going to win. Um, you know, I, I think I think you win with people. Um, and that's why. Um, I ultimately chose this place, just how, how special the people are. Uh, and, uh, you know, flash forward um, five, five and a half years later, we, you know, we have an opportunity um, to do that again. Um, but, you know, Alabama is a great team, we have a great, great challenge ahead of us. Um, so we're going to have, uh, have to have our best week of practice and play our best game. Next up will be Austin Ward. Austin? It's pretty uh, remarkable how far, you know, this front seven and the linebackers have come since this time two years ago. What, how much credit does Al, Al Washington get for that? And what, what has he been like as your position coach? Um, coach Washington has been amazing. Uh, deserves a lot of credit um, in, in what we've done day in, day out. Uh, he's always there for us. Uh, you know, his, 
just the way he approaches um, his business every day, um, you know, with the energy, the passion, um, you know, it's truly contagious. And, and, and I think um, it, sh it just shows in how, uh, you know, we've kind of taken off, you know, in this last last uh, season. So um, give him a lot of credit. Next up will be Kurt Burmester. Kurt. Hey, uh, Tuff, I heard you, uh, you were talking about the skill that Alabama has on the perimeter there. Just wondering if you can talk to how you guys are going to have to control that kind of explosiveness they have uh, on yeah. Monday. Um, I mean, I don't want to get too uh, into specifics, but, um, you know, we talk about keeping them inside of us and keeping them in front of us. Um, and that's certainly something we're going to have to do this week. We have time for just a couple more. So next we'll hear from Tim May. Tim. Thank you. Uh, tough, you know, more on that uh, aspect of the game when a team has an established big time back like Najee Harris, how does it just change your your focus? I know you're you're always focused on stopping the run, et cetera, but how does it kind of change your focus as a, as a play starts to know there's a big time running back back there? Like pretty much Alabama is going to be looking at Ohio State in the same way with Trey Sermon. Yeah, um, got to be locked in every play because he can he can hurt you. Um, you now he's he's a bigger back, like you said, but he shows um, you know great patience um, and great uh, acceleration when he decides he wants to you know turn it up into the hole. Um, so um, huge challenge. Um, he's a great player, uh, a great offensive line as well. So uh, you know, you know we'll have to be. I have to be ready for the challenge. All right. And our final question for Tuff comes from Nathan Baird. Nathan. Tuff, just what kind of a confidence boost did the Clemson game give this defense? And did you feel like it was something that th this defense needed to see after just how choppy the second half of the season had gone? Uh, I mean, I, I think we've always um, had confidence in ourselves. Um, I, I think it just showed us kind of what we're what we're capable. Um, you know, I think we've always believed we can compete with anybody in the country um, on any particular week. Um, you know, we practice against the best offense in the country every week. Um, so uh, we have confidence we can compete, um, you know, with everyone. All right. Thank you very much, Tuff. Appreciate your time here today. Thank you, guys.